What is up guys, JPR Tech here. Today I'm gonna to show you how you can save $300 by not buying the latest MacBook Pro with the touch bar and touch ID feature. You see the baseline MacBook Pro, right now it runs up to $1,500. And if you want a touch bar feature that is basically the highlight of the latest MacBook line, you gotta shell out another $300 just for that feature. Well, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can get that feature for only $9. And that is with the app called Duet Display. And with Duet Display, it allows you to extend the monitor in any of your desktop or laptops that are running Windows and 7 and up, or any Mac OS X 10.9 and up, including Sierra. And I was actually surprised that you can extend the monitor to any iOS device that is running iOS 7 and 7.0 and up. That includes all iPads that can run iOS 7 or all iPhones that can run iOS 7. And, and it is so simple to get running right away. All you gotta do once you install all the software and reboot, just plug in your iOS device through the lightning port connector into any available USB 3.0 port. Once connected, I was blown by the, the how, how smooth, smooth and fluent the, and responsive the screen was. It actually did, extended my MacBook Air's display into a Retina oh. display. You will benefit a lot from the extra real estate as an external display. But really the main reason why you will wanna get this dual display from any other display extension apps that are out there is for the touch bar feature that you can en enable in the menu. And the benefit of having that touch bar is to give you quick access to a lot of commands inside your Mac OS Sierra environment. So effectively you'll be able to control your volume rockers, the media control hotkeys, and as well as a bunch of different shortcuts that normally will be hidden somewhere in the menu bar. But what this touch bar really shines is using all the shortcuts that are available in a time linear editor such as iMovie or DaVinci Resolve. And I was actually impressed by the responsiveness and how quickly I could make adjustments to my color, contrast and sharp sharpness using the touch bar right in front of my keys where I place my phone. And lastly, real quickly, one other point I wanted to highlight on this MacBook touch bar feature is that well, the MacBook Pro is advertised for professionals and usually it will be like a desktop replacement or their MacBook Pro will be standing up on a stand next to their monitor. That leaves out the touch bar pretty far for you to reach up and try to grab and benefit from all the shortcut features that it allows you to have. And having your iPhone and iPad right in front of you, right in front of the keyboard, so it's very easy to reach makes a lot of sense and that also leaves the new macbook pro pretty useless or a waste of money if you ask me so if you're in the fence whether to upgrade to the new macbook pro just for that touch bar and the touch id feature maybe you should give this app a try you decide that yes it's a feature that you can live without and it's worth the upgrade the 300 dollars then by all means go ahead but if not you could just continue using the touch bar anyways with your iOS device. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video, this review of the Duet Display app, as well as a how to, yeah, how to get the new touch bar feature in any MacBook or Mac OS device. Well, thanks again for watching. Uh, leave a like if you like this video and dislike it if you didn't like it and leave down the comments down below And if you haven't already done so go ahead and subscribe because I got more reviews How to's and DIYs coming up in the future and I'm gonna try to keep pumping out the videos regularly weekly for you guys Thanks again, and hope you have a good one. Peace